Hey, this is uh, Andrew Long from uh, journalismgis.com, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial. Um, this is kind of how to pull out um, a piece of a shape file, so you don't need the whole thing, uh, and you just want to pull out, you know, a bit of it and use that. Um, this is a way to kind of do that. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some data. Um, the data that I have is Maricopa County Precinct data um, for 2008. And essentially what I want to do is I, I'm, maybe I'm interested in looking at a, a, a specific um, area of this. Uh, um, so I'm going to pull out the uh, congress uh, a congressional district. So I want all the precincts um, that are associated with a certain congressional district. Fortunately for me, uh, Maricopa has added that information. So I can open up the um, attribute data. So it's right click on the shapefile. And if you go down, open attribute table. Now, when you open the attribute table, you can see that this is the actual attributes for the shapefile. So this polygon is named Apache Wells. Um, it's in Legislative District 19 and Congressional District 6. It's area, you know, all this kind of stuff. Um, the BD name is 0563 Apache Wells, and this is what I use to attach data to this. So if I get voting data, I'll attach this to that. But again, I just want to pull out Congressional District 3. Um, so, and I really don't want the whole uh, the whole shape file. So the way we do this is we're going to search, we're going to query through this table and just pull that out. So over here, you'll uh, this is Arc 10. Um, in earlier versions, I believe there was a button down at the bottom that you can get to. And what you're looking for is uh, select by attributes. So we it, basically what this does is it gives you a list of all the attributes. Um, and it gives you a way to kind of write a query string for, the, uh, for what you're looking for. And what we're looking for is congressional districts. So I'm going to click on that Kong. Double click on it and it'll add it to my query string. And then I want it to equal. And it... You know, it's easy because it's three, but if, if you didn't know or you wanted to make sure you spelled your query right, um, if I'm selected Kong, I can click get unique values and it'll actually give me all the values in uh, in uh, that, you know, that, that table. So, for example, precinct name, if I get unique values, it'll actually give me the value names of all the... Uh, all the precincts and they're also searchable so I can search through them in here but we're doing something pretty simple we're just gonna do uh, congressional and I want uh, congressional district 3 um, so I'm gonna double click on 3 and now I have a query statement that says Kong equals 3 and I'm gonna apply now once I apply you'll notice that all the uh, precincts in Maricopa County from congressional district 3 are now selected um, and you, you know they're selected because they, they've got that blue highlight right there. So I'm going to close my uh, query um, builder there. And now, so now I have this selected. Next thing I want to do is kind of extract those, that parts of the shapefile and kind of create a new layer based on, on just that query. So if you go right click on, the, uh, on this, um, make sure you're on the name too, because if you go a little f further down below, you'll get the. Uh, the color uh, distinction, but if I go down in this menu, I'll see something called selection, um, and there's lots of options in here. But what I'm looking for is to create layer from selected features. So when I click on that, what ends up happening is that all of those that were selected are made into a new layer. So now if I turn off the Maricopa precinct, which hasn't been touched, it's you know it's the data is still there. We've just made a new layer from our selection and so you know this could make it uh, this makes it a lot easier to just work with this data set or to extract something out of you know a larger data set you know states counties um, all kinds of things census um, you know if you want to just pull out um, certain uh, uh, areas that you're looking for so now that it's up there, you'll see that I can rename it by just kind of clicking on there, and I'm just going to name this. Um, I'm just going to add Kong 3 to it to let me know that that's Congressional District 3. Um, now I can remove uh, I can remove the Maricopa County um, shape file if I don't need it anymore. I can just hit remove, and now I just have uh, 
my own layer of, of Congressional District 3. Anyways, that's just a quick tutorial on, on how to extract stuff from a shapefile uh, in ARC. Uh, this works in, in 10 and, and lower, so um, just you got to kind of look for the, uh, the query maker, um, but everything's pretty much in the same spot. All right, take care.